Hi, I'm Anjali Varma with The Modern Mompreneur, and today I have professional organizer Rachel Strisick from Rachel & Company. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Rachel is the owner of Rachel & Company and also the mom of two twin girls. And today we're going to be talking about systems that can help moms save more time for their business or their children. Absolutely. So the first thing I want to talk about is the mornings, which are the hardest times for families. So anything that we can do sort of the night before to save time in the morning is actually very helpful. So first, for example, I put all the breakfast items that we might use on a regular basis, jelly, syrup, those types of things, on the Lazy Susan that I got at the container store. Really? All you have to do is load it up, place it in your fridge, and in the morning, just take it out. And then also we've set aside bowls, napkins, things that we might use, which again, it might take about 10 minutes the night before, but it's gonna save you double the amount of time in the morning, because that's something we can control. Yes. We cannot control kids waking up, you know, stains, all those types of things, but doing that, taking 10 minutes the night before, will save you double the amount of time in the morning. Love that. So How next tip. Yeah, homework, homework station. station. <laughs> so homework station, again, this is from the container store. Homework usually is done at the kitchen table or at a desk nearby because it's you know around sort of the mom or whoever's watching the kids for that time. And so what I like to do is put things that we might use on a daily basis, your books, your pens, your pencils, in one thing, and then that thing can be brought off and brought onto the table. And then once homework's done, everything's thrown in, this can be removed or placed back onto the table or the desk. And what I love about this is that then inevitably the pencils, pens, erasers are not lost. They're all in one place. All in one place. So we're saving time for obviously the mom or whoever's taking care of the children and obviously the children because they know where their stuff is and know where to get it. Great. And now tell us about the calendar. So family calendar. Families are always on the go if there's more than one child. You know, it's juggling the routines and what it is with the schedule. For this one, what I've done here is we're going to place it in somewhere, usually in the kitchen, where all the family members can see and everyone can sort of add to the calendar. So there's no second guessing of where is, you know, baby sister at this time, where is brother, where is mom. It's kind of all visible on the calendar. And I think it's a great activity for parents and the family to do maybe on a Sunday night is sort of run through the calendar on where everyone's going to be for that week. That's great. So and everyone has their own color. Everyone has their own color so everyone can kind of see. And it's really fun for younger kids to obviously see this. Everyone thrives on routine in general, I believe. Yes. And so for them to kind of do this and help um, to be part of it. Great. And then finally, the paper station. Paper station. So paper, the number one thing that people complain about with clutter that comes in for school age children and younger, what they can do is place their homework, their artwork, permission slips, anything that needs to maybe go back to school in their box so they take ownership of it. And the parent, whether they're coming home from work or just you know, around, always can go to that one place for that one child. So they're always going to one place and the child's always going to one place. So the paper stays compact and neat and organized in one place. And what is your tip for those moms like me who let that paperwork pile up? Schedule. So schedule some time, five minutes, maybe maybe it's not every night, which I think is unrealistic, but maybe five minutes every few days to go through those papers so that it's not as overwhelming to look at maybe on a Sunday night or a month later, because then it's going to take you even more time to go through it. So schedule. Thank you, Rachel. You're these welcome. are great tips, and I would love to hear from you on how these tips have worked out. Please leave a comment on the box below. And stay tuned for our Mompreneur Minute. And now it's time for our Mompreneur Minute, where I'll ask Rachel a series of lightning round questions related to her experiences as a mompreneur. So Rachel, there's probably a lot of moms out there who are thinking about starting a business or are in the beginning stages. What would you say is your biggest tip for someone starting out? Well, for someone just starting out, I would say make a to-do list. And whether that's electronically or on paper, if you're like myself and still like to write, um, and chunk off your to-do list because there's always going to be something as a mompreneur that you need to get done or want to get done. So making a to-do list and making it into different sections of must-dos, you know, later to-dos, but making something and having it in one place is the main point so that you can reference it, you know, at all times. Yeah, and I love the feeling of checking something off yes, when it's done. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> now what would you say is a pro and maybe a challenge in mompreneurism? So a pro is that I can make my own schedule, which is wonderful because I can be there for my children's doctor's appointments or milestones, and so that's a big pro for me. A challenge that I have as a mompreneur is that I'm always on and I'm always thinking about my business and it's hard to sort of shut it off. Yes, so. and you were a lawyer. I was corporate America. Right. I do kind of miss being able to turn off for a little right. bit. Right. I wouldn't change it for the world, being right. a mompreneur, but yes, it does have its challenges at points. Okay, and now for our mompreneur mantra, or Rachel's one piece of advice 
that she would give to anyone that's starting out or has been a mompreneur for a while? What would you say your mantra is? So my mantra would be scheduling. So scheduling time An organizer. To, oh, she's like, right. Of course. <laughs> uh, so scheduling time to have for work and then scheduling a time for your family. Both deserve equal you know, amounts of time. And the only way to sort of give 100% to each is to schedule that time. So when it's time to work, we're working. And when it's time to be with the family, time to be the family. I love it. Rachel Strisick from Rachel & Company, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. And would love to hear your thoughts on home organization and also uh, mompreneurism. So please comment, email us, or tweet. We'd love to hear from you.